हेलो एवरीवन टुडे द टॉपिक इज को एंजाइम्स एंजाइम्स आर प्रोटीन इन नेचर एंड दीज एंजाइम्स दे हैव एक्टिव साइट व्हिच इज द मेन पार्ट ऑफ द एंजाइम टू व्हिच द सब्सट्रेट बाइंड्स एंड दैट गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इनटू द प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस एंजाइम्स दे रिक्वायर सम एडिशनल नॉन प्रोटीनेशियस को फैक्टर्स प्रोटीनेशियस सब्सटेंसेस नॉन प्रोटीनेशियस सब्सटेंसेस कॉल्ड एज को फैक्टर्स and these cofactors are again of two types organic and inorganic and in this the organic cofactors are called as coenzymes so coenzymes are non protein organic low molecular weight and heat stable substances so these are all in contrast to the enzymes the enzymes are protein in nature they have high molecular weight and they are heat labile substances and in contrast or vice uh, the coenzymes are non protein organic low molecular weight and heat stable substances coenzymes are also called as second substrates or co substrates because they bind to the enzyme coming to the salient features of coenzymes coenzymes are dialyzable substances that is they combine loosely with the enzyme they can be easily separated Uh, from the enzyme they are essential for the biological activity of the enzyme even only in the presence of the coenzymes the enzymes some enzymes are functional so they are required for its biological activity and after the completion of the reaction after the completion of the reaction it is separated from the opo enzyme and it binds with another coenzyme molecule so coenzymes they bind to their opo enzyme till the reaction is completed and once it is completed they bind with another enzyme molecule one molecule is able to convert a large number of substrates with the help of the coenzyme so one enzyme molecule is able to convert a large number of substrates into products with the help of these coenzymes coenzymes are again of these different types by complex vitamins acting as coenzymes non vitamins acting as coenzymes and nucleotides acting as coenzymes some examples of b complex vitamins acting as coenzymes are thiamine vitamin b1 with thiamine pyrophosphate acts as a coenzyme flavin mononucleotide that acts as a coenzyme flavin adenine dinucleotide both of them are derived from the vitamin riboflavin that is uh, vitamin b2 and then ni- niacinamide adenine dinucleotide which is derived from vitamin b3 that is niacin and then pyridoxal phosphate which is derived from vitamin b6 that is pyridoxin and coenzyme a that is derived from pantothenic acid which is vitamin b5 vitamin b5 tetrahydrofolate which is derived from b9 that is folic acid all of these are the v complex vitamin which act as coenzymes and then some non vitamin coenzymes are atp adenine triphosphate acts as a coenzyme cytidine diphosphate acts as a coenzyme uridine diphosphate acts as a coenzyme s adenosyl methionine that acts as a coenzyme and phosphoadenosine phosphosulfate this acts as a coenzyme all of these are non vitamins which are acting as coenzymes then nucleotides some of the coenzymes they possess nitrogenous base sugar and phosphate and when they have a nitrogenous base sugar and phosphate they are called as nucleotides so nad plus nadp plus fmn fad coenzyme a all these are nucleotides which are acting as coenzymes so like we have discussed the cofactors are the non protein additional co additional substances which are attached to the active site of the enzymes in which the inorganic compounds are the metal cofactors and the organic cofactors mm-hmm.